Donald Trump has threatened North Korea after the death of Otto Warmbier. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre. 22 year old Otto Warmbier was in North Korea last year when he confessed to trying to steal a propaganda poster from a hotel. He was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor after being convicted of subversion, but ended up spending 17 months in a North Korean prison. It is believed that while he was in prison, Otto endured terrible, torturous treatment. He was medically evacuated from North Korea last week. North Korea said they were acting on humanitarian grounds. On June 13th, he returned to his family in Cincinnati, Ohio, but was unconscious because he had been in a coma for over a year. He couldn't speak. He couldn't see and he couldn't react to verbal commands. North Korea said Mr. Warmbier had contracted a rare disease called botulism after his trial last March. They said he was given a sleeping pill and was in a coma ever since. However, doctors said he returned with severe brain damage, but it is not clear what caused it. They found no sign of botulism. It is believed that he suffered from a neurological injury leading to extensive loss of brain tissue. Mr. Warmbier's family announced that he died at 2.20 p.m. on Monday, June 19th. The White House released a statement in response to the news about Otto. The statement from President Trump read, Otto's fate deepens my administration's determination to prevent such tragedies from befalling innocent people at the hands of regimes that do not respect the rule of law or basic human decency. The statement went on to say that the United States once again condemns the brutality of the North Korean regime. There are three Americans that are still being held in North Korea against their will. The US government accuses North Korea of using these people as political pawns while North Korea accuses Washington of sending spies to overthrow its government. The death of Otto Warmbier is likely to have a negative effect on the already strained relationship between the US and North Korea. That is all for now, you have just been informed.